Backseat Q. Your music. Neater. Richer. Sweeter. Dangerous Music's Backseat Q was inspired by Peter Baxendahl's legendary 1950s design that has graced the face and sweetened hundreds of millions of home hi-fi systems. The Backseat Q carved broad, open curves and gentle sloping cuts that are essential for recording, mixing, and mastering. Seeking the elusive top 10 vocal sound? Add that perfect sheen of air. Chasing the chunk and grinding guitars? Dial in the meat shot. Lush mid-range, bottomless bass, and space are achieved effortlessly. Please welcome the Bax EQ to your tools for success. No radical sonic signature to overshadow the music. Just your music. Neater, richer, sweeter. Inputs and outputs. The Bax EQ utilizes Neutrik XLR connectors to ensure the greatest surface area for happy electrons to migrate through and avoids offshore enameled lookalike connectors that almost fit. Note. All connections are wired pin too hot as per AES standards. Tip. Cables do make a difference. Ask for Mogami 2534 interconnects. <music> AC cable and switching. The Bax EQ utilizes a standard 3-pin IEC cable, thus making it simple to replace if your guitar player steals it. I could sell this on eBay! Selectable voltage. Now you can travel the world with your favorite gear, evangelizing the equalized truth. Please review the mains voltage in the red window before plugging in the unit, or electrifying events may transpire. To change it, simply use a screwdriver to gently pry the mains inlet module's cover open and flip the fuse block around so the correct voltage appears in the window. Tip. The Bax EQ uses 500 milliamp fast blow fuses for 120 volts and 250 milliamp fast blow fuses for 240 volts. High and low frequency filter knobs. These 12 dB per octave filters are smooth, accurate, and musical sounding without artifacts. Artfully sculpt curves in conjunction with the shelving controls while utilizing them to improve your system's efficiency. Infrasonic rumble. Infrasonic rumble is a PC term for the omnipresent low frequency garbage that loiters unnoticed in the audio shadows. This headroom consuming thief propagates from forced air heating and air conditioning units, jets, subways, and yes, lolly waves. That means earthquakes and elephants. Eliminating it dramatically increases low end clarity and punch while allowing higher maximum levels on any playback device. Phew. Picture this you're recording a tambourine because the lead singer is too insecure to sit out during the instrumental track. Unbeknownst to you, the air conditioner is running and creating a merciless 60 hertz resonance. Your condenser mic has dutifully captured this and sent it to the preamp and then onward to the compressor. Now instead of compressing 8 kilohertz from the tambourine, your compressor is wrestling with the 60 hertz demon. Spin that low frequency cut knob up to 54 hertz and adios ruido. Out of band noise. On the top end, Ultrasonic or out-of-band noise is an A to D converter's audio nemesis. Derived from a myriad of sources, it propagates slew rate overload, ultimately manifesting itself in your recordings as harsh, brittle sound. So while tracking, engage the high cut filter, especially when boosting bodacious amounts of top end. This practice will reveal a bright and airy treble that is never harsh or blaring. Individual Relay Bypass Relays remove the filters entirely from the signal path until desired for true A-B comparisons. In contrast, many EQs leave the filter in the circuit, even when it's in bypass. This potentially adds noise, distortion, and phase shift. The Bax EQ places only the single selected frequency, or none, into the audio chain, keeping your audio pure. high and low frequency shelf and level controls. Stepped controls. 
Stepped knobs provide for the repetition of settings with deadly accuracy. Producer requesting a touch more air? Return to your prior settings and add judiciously as required. Broad bandwidth shelving. Instead of a surgical EQ that targets problems like string buzz, but often comes with an audio sacrifice. Aye, cannibals stole my hi-hats! The back's EQ affects several octaves and is shapely, sweet, with minimized phase delay for subtle, sexy sonic sculpting. Low frequency shelf knob. The frequencies noted on the faceplate reside at the bottom shoulder of the slope and reach way into the mid-range, thus providing a remarkably natural and smooth character. High frequency shelf knob. The frequencies noted on this faceplate reside in the middle of this slope, thus corresponding with the most audible band. The highest frequency shoulder is approximately twice the listed frequency, where the cut and boost is exactly 5 dB. So for example, when modifying 1.6 kHz, at plus or minus 5 dB, the frequency affected is 3.2 kHz. Independent high and low level controls. Discrete left and right controls allow for the correction of any stereo high or low frequency imbalance in 0.5 dB steps. Left channel need a hairless womp? Pull it down a half dB or so as needed. MS Stereo. Combine the backs with the dangerous SM to leverage MS Stereo while tracking and mixing and create the next Billboard Top 100 cut. True Bypass and Gauge Switch. The Engage switch is a true hardwire bypass, meaning that it completely removes the hardware from the circuit while in bypass, thus allowing for honest A-B comparisons. For example, just imagine a hardwired cable taking the input and sending it directly to the output without touching any circuitry. That's the play the Engage button is executing. Combining it all. Now it's your turn to actually put the box through its paces. This is why you bought it after all, right? So go ahead, engage the cut controls to remove the garbage and ease the burden on your converters. Remember, these are remarkable shaping tools when employed with the shelving and level controls to gracefully sculpt Michelangelo-like audio hillocks and valleys. Go forth and craft your next masterpiece.